like to give all honor and praise to Yahweh, the God of our fathers, the one who created all of us. Um, I'm having a beautiful day. I hope everybody's enjoying their day as well. Um, the name of this poem is called I Shall Not Be Ashamed, and I think it kind of ties in with the whole theme of what we've been talking about today, just being proud of who we are and being proud of the God that we serve. We have people who worship dead men, people who worship the moon, who worship cows, and here we are, we worship the true and the living God. Yah's law is in my blood and his blessing is in my bones. I know no other savior for he alone does reign. Those lacking understanding try to suppress my high, smirk at my skirt so long it looks like I'm floating, but they can't handle my truth. My youth I have given to he who chose we, the children of his firstborn son, the one he chose of all the nations under the sun, and he is one. No man can stand before him, and with him there is none, and I shall not be ashamed. Israel is my name, and you can call me no other. For righteous is my father, and wisdom is my mother, and together they've given birth to the truth that his covenant is everlasting, and his mercy is great. And today I can't name a time I've been without him, so forever I will sing of his glory. Yes, I will sing a song so sweet it makes sugar jealous. Tell his praises to the heavens, y'all, because blessed is he who trusts in he. And compassed by Yah's mercy, no man do I fear. Sudden terror can't shake me, because my God won't forsake me, and greatly do I appreciate having knowledge of his name. No, I cannot be ashamed when he reached and wreaked havoc into Egypt and placed us in a land second to none. And even here in captivity, his mercy is never ending, lending proof to the truth that he will not leave the righteous to beg bread. And when all is said and done, by his name alone will I swear, and he alone do I fear, and I shall not be ashamed. To proclaim his name to those without vision is my mission. To follow his laws with all of my spirit, for it is our guide to life and restoration as a nation before whom the world shall bow. How can I not be filled with pride when the world, my God, does run? He is master of all and servant to none. Jehovah is his name, and I shall not be speech by a young man that did a speech at our parents' dinner a couple months back. The speech is about unity, and it's all in the spirit of what the YOI is for. The YOI is youth of Israel, not from one camp, but anybody that is YOI age that wants to come together and um, do things together with their peers um, in the name of praising the Most High. So I'd like to introduce to you Anaya. All honor, glory, and due respect to the Holy One of Israel, Yahweh. I greet you, all teachers, um, parents, and, and peers. In the ancient tongue of my forefathers, Abraham, Yitzchak, and Yaakov, Shabbat Shalom, and Paul. I have been given an opportunity to come before you and discuss what, is, what, is it, what it is that we are demonstrating today, which is unity. According to Webster's Dictionary, unity is defined as combining, combining as one or togetherness. What I believe unity to be is a group of people working together for the betterment of their communities. It reads in the book of Proverbs, chapter 11, verse 4, where there is no counsel to people for, but in the multitude of counselors, there is great safety. In other words, we the youth of Israel should not be the only ones to come together, but everyone as one nation under the name of the living God, Father Yah. As Prince Paul said earlier, the, the whole world is against us, so it would be foolish of us to be against each other also. But after today, I've seen it is possible for Israel to come together. Please, let this not be the last time. And with this, and with that, I say to you all, Father, 
tell you the verses of your song, not my song. Adore Mori Hosea, then Cohen Levy wrote that song one day in the park. We were, we were in the park having a barbecue. Just having a barbecue after one of our unity shop talk, much like this, much like what we're going to do tomorrow. And we were sitting in Prospect Park, and he said, Maru, come on. Let's go sing, let's, let's go sing. So what are we gonna sing? He said, uh, by the time we get over to the drums, I'll make up a song. <laughs> and as we were walking over toward the drums, God said, this is the way it go, bro. Let's go. And in about 20 minutes, we had 150 people singing, blessed be the day of the shower. <laughs> Um, at this time, I'll ask Adon Dawi to come up here. Ben Yehuda, Dawi Ben Yehuda. Everybody, everybody, there's like a million Dawis in here. They froze, they like this. Which Dawi is he talking about? Y'all know there's only one Dawi that, that got all of the hits. Yisrael. Help Yisrael, Yahuwah. This is the man who wrote it. Y'all always hear his son singing his song, but the, those are his songs, the songs that he wrote. Hallelujah. I don't. The Gavarik wanted to sing it. They. The play, yes. She wanted to play, um, what's the song? Open up your vision. Are you up to singing that song? Hallelujah.
Again, I'd like to give all honor and praise to Brother Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the great, the great mighty and very God, the most high, maker, owner, possessor of all things and everything. All right. We're going to keep it godly. And I'm going to take you to the hood, but we're going to keep it godly. All right. All right. All right. I picture the scriptures as instructions of life. I've been abducted by something other than trite. Well, yeah, I'm thugging for right. Blessed when in sight to turn the world backwards from savage patterns. The lack of established manners left us trapped in the back remanded. Captive the bandits, I can't stand it. And those with knowledge go against the grain single-handed. See, that's the way the most high planned it. Stranded up north, handed across in the lands of the lost. Diligence in teaching them seeds to help them stay the course. See, we in it for the long run. Because when it's all done, y'all will prevail in the time of travail, not your fortune. The true scorcher will beat the portion that was broke with caution. See, Israel waxed fat and kick, the nigger world we lost in. I'm sick of flossing, wicked ways close to the coffin. Look at the chosen's misfortune, claiming the lands that they were sold and bought in. My people's lost in the source, forced to pay homage to a myth that died on the cross. All common sense tossed. From Genesis to Malachi, Yehovah Elohim, Yehovah Echad. For this alone, I'm ready to die. That's what we live for. Dodge your pitfalls, lift weights and get sore. Training the new generation of soldiers we got in store. That's right. See, we pop apocryphas wide open and ingest doses of edgeless. Fringes on clothing, regulations put in place for the chosen. Perpetual covenants we still practice within this government we were sold in. Yah's the greatest, humble the famous. Although I stumble in concrete jungles and fumble instructions he gave us, I still rumble wicked, courageous. See, I'ma repent. The hell with lit? I don't follow religion. Catholicism is something I resent. See, I'm here to put dents in Christian content to the furthest extent, cause I find it to be full of that bull, keep it holy. Cause the Lord chose me so me to spit it holy. We gotta keep it holy. <laughs> Cause the Lord chose me solely to spit his holy testimony. As a youth, the truth, my Ema told me. My obligated the facts. How to break a precept down to a fraction. Your Ema's proverbs curb my actions. I thank my God for them both. The Lord of hosts, Jehovah Zebra Oath, put that in quotes. Funny how to broke, got the antidote for the sickness that ignorance invokes. So I throw my people the dose. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hey, come over here, man. This is my brother from way back. I ain't gonna tell you all the story about when we did a show before and he froze up on stage. But that's my man right there. Blessed be the most high. <laughs> we don't freeze up on stage anymore. <laughs> Hallelujah. We're gonna move straight ahead and we're gonna hear from my from my young brother, another one from the tribe of Zabu. Even Shimshon, Bang Prince of Poor, Bang Zabuli. He gonna sing a song. Wow. First of all, oh, hold on, hold on. First of all, I would like to give all honor and glory to the supreme intelligence of the universe. Um, second of all, I'd like to give all due respect to um, Chief and Princes and Dignitaries here. Third, um, I'm the song, let's go. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. One thing got to be in Mount Zion Which cannot be removed But it brought it forever As the mountains around about Jerusalem uh, So is my God Right about his people And this time for He is forevermore for the water of wickedness shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous, that the righteous could not fold their hands into the victory. Do good, oh Lord, to those that be good, and to them that are upright in their hearts. 
but as we go, it's understand that it won't put me away. The whole week of walk with the monkeys up when they can The peace of the youth, oh, it's my Of thy own hand, happy thou shalt be, and this should be well with thee. Who art thou, King, is good for the last of mine, and the innermost part of thy house. Get you to to be like our plants round about thy table. Behold. Only just shall man be blessed. Only he, he that fears the Lord. Oh. Hallelujah. Turn it up, turn it up for the praise of the Most High. Y'all looking beautiful out there. That's coming up on the next album. Come see me. You know how I do. <laughs> Chief Uza, aka Shug Knight. I just know. Now, the next group that um that I'm about ready to call up, these these brothers and sisters come all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio. Come on, Cole. real quick, two minutes, cool. Who want to get two minutes of praise in? Come on, Cole. Before I call up, because when I call up Cincinnati, Ohio, hey, I don't think, you know, you don't want to follow that act. So come on, let's go. Shout out Shalom, Shalom, go. It's truly a, a beautiful thing to give. The most high glory and honor. And it's a beautiful thing to be before his people on a day such as this, any day for that matter, that he gives us life. I don't know about y'all, but I stay around Israel seven days a week. That's what I do. And I wrote a song that I was asked to sing. This song is called Purge Me. Some of y'all heard it. It's not even recorded yet. But um, this song wrote itself, but when I started, I didn't stop till I got to the end. I was just holding the pain. The song came out straight.
You know, once you start getting generations to generations, you mentioning a whole lot of names. But that's a good thing. That means that a lot of more of us are being born in this way of life, and more generations of us are being born in this way of life than ever before. And the continuance is even greater. Hallelujah. Hey, before we carry on, I just want to give first and foremost thanks to the Most High God for this beautiful setting. I want to thank my leader and teacher, the founder and the leader of Shema Yisrael, Chief Prince of Paul Benzavolo. Chief of Chiefs is going to be here with us. He's on a journey. And the co-founder, Prince Deliel Ben Yisasta. Also to the teachers of my teachers, even Moray Mishael and um, Akoan Lewi Ben Lewi. Hallelujah. I see everybody. You know, we have this great congregation online. We have like, almost like over 100 people join us online every week. And um, I just want to give an opportunity now for anyone that's online, that I might not know you because I see just your name, the screen name. I give you an opportunity now to stand up and shout out your name. Yes. Hold on, hold on, orderly, orderly. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey sister, get up again, what's your name? There you go, Naomi P1. Yes. That's the riot right there that started all the problems right now. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Huh? Anna what? Anna Yisrael. Mama. Everybody know Mama. Nobody know her real name, they just know Mama. Nappy and loving it. Another troublemaker. Anybody else? Yes, my sister. Lady Fire, there you go. That's a lot of names in here, but they just not mentioned. I see Higdalia, is she in here? Stand up, there you go, that's Higdalia right there. Yes. Um, in, what? Stand up, sis. Medaya Yehuda from Shomrei Hatora. And we got a whole lot of more people, they just shy, they don't want to get up and say, yes, DMAC 21. <laughs> and y'all know Prince Natayel, he was up here saying the poem, and Shimshon, and Sizzle, Sizzle 21, 2100. Where's Elazar? He's somewhere in here. Yeah, so the next group that we're going to call up, they come to us all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio. Boss, Voices of Zion. I would give them a chance to come up here now and sing two of their selections.
to go to track six, right? You said you're gonna cue me to end track five to go to track six, right? Shabbat Shalom. Yah is righteous. All the time. And we're honored to be here before the great congregation of Israel. Here in Brooklyn. And our first selection will be one day. Because truly, one day. Yah is going to be in the midst of us like he was back in the day, back in olden times. So DJ, pump that noise.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I told you all they could sing. Blessed be the most high. Um, at this time, y'all know that earlier some of our brothers and sisters, they um they went to do a, um, I believe it was a, well I'll call up the man that was there, the head of the um, rabbinical school here in New York City, um, our brother even, Rabbi Shalom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll explain to you a little bit better. Getting on in praise of the Most High God, the creator and ruler of the universe. To Chief Coin Dago Levy, to Paul, Michelle, to all the chief men, mores, all those gathered and assembled today. On behalf of the International Israelite Board of Rabbis, my congregation, Beth Elohim, St. Albans, Queens, I greet you all. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. And Shalom Aleichem. I'm really almost at a loss for words. And the way I like to proceed is just by making an observation first. And always I like to compare what I'm about to say and put it in some scriptural context. It's interesting because last night I was at B'nai Adah from Patching the Green, welcoming and bringing the Shabbat in. This morning, I was at Beth Shalom on Willoughby Avenue and worshiping, bringing in the Shabbat. And this afternoon, I'm here with you. And if I were to put these three perspectives together and try to put in some scriptural context, what I see is that the Torah today in the city of Belah said that Balak also looked at Israel from three different perspectives. That's right. Yeah. Each time he said, I want you to look at Israel from this way and see if you can find anything wrong with them that you can curse. And he looked and he couldn't find anything wrong. He took another perspective and looked at it from another view. And again, he could not find anything wrong with Israel from that perspective. And then he looked at them from a third point of view and could not find anything wrong. And so here I am this afternoon in the last 24 hours looking at Israel from three different perspectives. Not just physically, but culturally. And our theology and the way we look in the, in the common ways that we worship the Most High. And like Belak, I must say, Ma'atawahu Elohim Ha'yahu. Me come to say, yes, How good we are your tent, O Jacob. Your dwelling places, O Israel. Wherever I see you, you are beautiful. Wherever you are, you are beautiful. Whatever we are doing in our own way to the service of the Most High God is beautiful. And what I want to do for a few in Brooklyn, when I used to teach at Mega Evers College for the last three years, I see they've expanded from the time that I was there. And when I used to teach on Flatbush Avenue at the Brooklyn campus, uh, Long Island University. But uh, now I'm back here. And what I've been doing is studying the history of our people. And one of the things that is really historic about this Unity Week is it occurs at historical time. 118 years ago, a person by the name of Whitworth Arthur Matthew was born on June 28th in 1892. A black person born at the end of the 19th century was still living in the shadow of slavery when the pale of discrimination still hung heavily upon our people. Again, like the Torah said this week, it described a man by the name of Bill Am. And in the second part of the Torah it said that Bill Am adopts what I call a nickname. His name is Bill Am. But after an experience yet early in the, in the sutra, the Torah said, But the bed built on, Hagebe Yatum Ha'ayim. And Belah said, Bagebe a man, Yatum Ha'ayim, whose eyes are open. The Torah said this twice to describe what he was about to say to Belah. And the comparison I'm making is that the person I'm talking about today, Rabbi W.A. Matthews, was like Bill Ah, in that 
There was a time when his eyes were closed and he was riding upon a jackass. Right. Okay. And what he said to Bilal is, I'm not the same blind man that I was a few moments ago. I had an experience with the Most High God, an experience with the donkey, and now 